know, I've seen uh, I've seen some pictures, man, of you on Instagram uh, in the last couple of weeks. Is you as, as a young fella coming up in the East, New Orleans? You're a pretty handsome dude, man. You're a pretty handsome dude back then. I appreciate it. Appreciate, um, <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. you Thank you very much. Back then. Yeah. But I, you know, I, I'm guessing that you didn't get too many. Uh, you didn't get broken up with too much. Coming Never. Up. Now. Never. Now me. I yeah, I was broken up with a couple of times, and I tell you how you the the worst way to break up with somebody is just just load them up with compliments. Oh, you know, you're so smart and you're so kind. And you know what? You're going to make somebody happy. And I still believe in you and you're going to do this. And I've never felt this way before. Okay, all this stuff. Why am I leaving? Why did, why did I get kicked out of the club in? If I'm so right. great, why are you breaking up right. with me? And if I'm Carson Wentz, I'm thinking that today as I hear Doug Peterson run his mouth about hey, Carson can still be exceptional. He can still be a franchise guy. As I'm, I'm, I'm going to be watching Jalen Hurts take my job and start in my game on Sunday versus the Saints. So I don't want to hear it. I think it's just lip service. And I probably need to talk to my agent about my next stop because Philadelphia is not it. What do you think? I love that you took it to relationships because that's always where my mind goes. And given that Doug Peterson has always said, and I think he even said it again this week, uh, he's married to Carson Wentz. So let's do that. Let's give, they need some relationship counseling right now. Their relationship is on the rocks. So let's give it to them, shall we? Um, I'm gonna tell you, required reading is The Athletic. Inside Carson Wentz's fall, from face of the Eagles franchise to bench by Zach Berman is really well done if, if you have uh, access to The Athletic. They do great reporting in general, but a really deep and comprehensive dive into his the history of this relationship from their infatuation with him ahead of the draft to trading up to get him to giving him the extension to just the overall organizational philosophy that Howie Roseman wants to have, which is that they are a, they're, they're a QB factory. They're a QB developer, you know, which is why they drafted Jalen Hurts, which wasn't a surprise to Carson Wentz, but why they drafted him in the second round. You know, a good backup quarterback, which they knew they needed because, you know, Nick Foles, as we well know, took him to the Super Bowl in 2017. So, Michael, you've been married. I've been married for 15 years, which means you've been married for 14 years. 13. Um, 13, I beg your pardon. 13 years. Uh, good job. Good job. I was testing you. I was testing you. That's a good job right there. Come on. That's Come good. On, that's man. good. That's good. That's good. You was quick on your feet. That's, that's a good job. July 14th, okay. 2007. So, so um, first rule when it comes to your lady or any relationship, you got to know them. You got to know their love language. You got to know what they like and what they don't like. Probably more important to know what they don't like than what they do like. Tell you know? And I think it's pretty clear that Carson Wentz doesn't quite react well. I'm not saying this is the only reason, but you're not, you're not making him feel good, no matter how highly compensated he is contractually, no matter how many picks you gave up to get him, Howie Roseman. He doesn't like having somebody, he don't, he don't like you having a wandering eye. You yeah. know, like some, in some relationships, you could you could look at you could look at relationships. You could watch oh I don't know. You can watch Megan The Stallion and be like oh man you know she fine man. And your wife tell you your what? wife is okay with that. Your wife that's okay like with the that. second or third. That's like the second or third time you've mentioned her in the last week. Is it? So is it? Yeah. No. Yeah. This ain't no coincidence. Anyway. Okay. Some relationships. Um, <laughs> some relationships you can get away with that. Some relationships you can and do that. Can. Other relationships, you just know that's not the way to roll. Like they just it makes them uncomfortable. Yeah. Even if it's not a real threat, it just makes them uncomfortable. So first mistake that the Eagles have made, and we've talked a lot about, you know, the, the offensive line, the receivers, even the play calling. But the first mistake is they didn't quite know their quarterback. And you can't take a quarterback in the second round, and not just any quarterback a high-profile Heisman candidate quarterback. 
in the second round and expect Carson Wentz to feel comfortable, to feel the love. Again, no matter how much money he got, there's a level of subconscious and unspoken insecurity attached to him. He's already been through the Nick Foles situation. You let Nick Foles walk and chose Wentz over Foles, so you already, you already did that. And for you to pick a quarterback in the second round, a high-profile quarterback, not only, Michael, did they not know their quarterback, and I got more, but I'm going to get back to you. Not only did they not know their quarterback, they didn't know the environment. Bro, this is Philadelphia. I mean, look how excited right. Jason Johnson just was about the Wentz show. Tyler Times from The Ringer been talking about Carson Wentz with us all year. Okay? And now you... And so this has been... This has been this has been a long time coming. The moment they drafted him, they should have known that at some point the noise is going to get too loud to where it got not only into Carson Wentz's ear, but into his head. Now, again, I'm not saying the guy is fragile, and I'm not saying that if you're a, an organization... Look, I don't even want to make excuses for the guy because, look, there's something to be said. Some quarterbacks, like Aaron Rodgers, okay, if I can compare them just to say this, you draft his heir apparent in the first round, he goes out and have an MVP season. Okay, he makes you look. He makes but you he like a like piece it. of the pick. But he also didn't. He like didn't it. like it. He didn't like it. But either. he reacted differently. I'm not. Right. Maybe they it's something to be said for a quarterback to be able to handle this better than we think Carson Wentz is handling it. And, and I'm, I'm playing armchair psychologist here. I could be way off, but I think there's something. No, to no, this. this is good. But this is good. But if this is, but if this is your quarterback, what his love language is, and his love language is not competition. Floor is yours. All right. Uh, let me let me uh, say this first before before I start on Carson Wentz. Uh, just, just one question. Just one question. <laughs> yes or no? Um, <laughs> did you see Megan The Stallion on Saturday Night Live? Did you, did you see her on Saturday Night Live? I'm just wondering. She was on a few weeks ago. I, I've, I, you, you, you can say if you see. If, have, did you see Megan The Stallion? Whatever. The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. Whenever, wherever. Yes. <laughs> Did a great job on Saturday Night Live. Did a great job. Phenomenal. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, but Carson Wentz is not unusual, and I'm going to stand up yeah. for him. Like I said to you uh, a couple of days ago, the fact that he's bothered by this does not make him uh, a fragile or weak or any of that. All of these quarterbacks, you can name a quarterback. Uh, it, you already named Aaron Rodgers. They drafted Jordan Love in the first round. So your first problem is, you mean to tell me we could have gotten somebody who could be on the field with me to help me? And you're spending a first-round mm -hmm. pick on a quarterback. And the second thing is, oh, what do you think? Oh, oh, you come. This is this is personal. You're making this personal. So Aaron Rodgers felt that way. He responded well. Uh, Tom Brady, Jimmy Garoppolo, second round, same thing. Hey, what's up? You drafted Jimmy Garoppolo. He responded well after the drafting of Jimmy Jimmy Garoppolo. He got three Super Bowl titles, but he was never happy with Garoppolo there, and. The day Garoppolo was traded was one of Tom Brady's best days in New England. It was just during the week. He was traded. He was happy. A weight was lifted. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. happens to the greats. Carson Wentz is not a great yet. He will be. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say this to Philly. Go ahead. Get rid of him. He will be great somewhere else. This, is, this guy is not done. He Frank, is Frank somebody, Wright reunion? Yeah, yeah. He's somebody who is, who's been affected mentally by what's going on and can we not? I like it's Philly. You already said it's Philly. I believe Philly, New York, and Boston. They all cousins. They all cousins. Everybody related. They're all related. First cousins. It's all a little on the edge, a little angry, yeah. impatient. Right. It's the way it goes. Right. So in Philly. Right. You don't invite them everywhere. Yeah. No, no, you can't. Like Philly, the cousins will fight. Be like, all right, now you just put the hand on the chest back. All right, calm down. Calm down. Right. It's cool. Right. Cool. I got it. I got it, man. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. So yeah. In this market, one of the toughest, most intense, passionate markets in the country, y'all go put this all on Carson Wentz? As if you don't see what else is happening with the organization? Are you kidding? Well, even That's Jason a, Kelsey. A, even Jason Kelsey came out today and, and, and got his quarterbacks back and was like, it's not all on him. But, Michael, allow this for me, because well, I'm going to give you the solution. You know, because it doesn't have to be a divorce. We could have marriage counseling. We could have trial separation. It doesn't have to be a divorce. Okay? It doesn't have to be a body about situation. Separation? We're about to get divorced. Okay? It's a separation now because it's counseling now, right? So, okay. Because we're getting ahead of ourselves. Admittedly. Jalen Hurts gave him a spark against Green Bay. Who knows what he does against the Saints? 
or beyond. Carson Wentz could be the quarterback again in a week. Carson Wentz could end up the quarterback week one of 2021, given the contract. Nobody's untradeable, but that's a pretty heavy cap hit that he would have to absorb. So before we make Jalen Hurts the new Eagles quarterback, I think it would behoove us to kind of see how well he plays before we make a proclamation that Carson, Carson Wentz is done. As much as it feels like it's over for him in Philly, I'll just, I'll just say this. Because look, man, sometimes, you know, I, I've never done it, but, I, but there are a couple, so sometimes you just got to blow off some steam. Sometimes you just got to go in separate rooms. Sometimes you got to sleep on the couch. Sometimes you got to take a walk. You got to take a ride. Sometimes you may just have to sleep on the opposite edges of the bed. You shouldn't, go to, you shouldn't let the sun go down in the argument. But nonetheless, it doesn't have to be the end of the marriage, OK? I have a solution. One, after this season, I think they need to go back and watch 2017 film. When Carson Wentz had 123.7 rating on third down, Michael, when he had 100 and 16 rating in the red zone. Who was he throwing to? So, and who were his running backs? That's exactly right. Who was protecting him? Not to mention yep. who was calling the plays. DeFilippo and Reich are both gone. But nonetheless, like, step back, reassess what made Carson Wentz successful. Because he comes back in 18, and he gets hurt, and Foles takes him to the playoffs. 19, they go to the playoffs, he gets a concussion. So he's still kind of working his way back to 2017 form in some respects. And we've already talked about how fluky and how crazy 2020 is. But here's actually what I would do. If you truly want to make Carson Wentz happy, and you are truly married to Carson Wentz, marriage, Michael, is two things. is work and is sacrifice. 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 Marriage is doing a bunch of stuff. I'm going to say this because I'm going to keep it 100. It's doing a lot of stuff that, frankly, you don't want to do. You learn right. to like it, the benefit, but you do it benefit. because you know yep. that that's what your significant other wants. If you're married to Carson Wentz, you got to trade Jalen Hurts. You got to get rid of Jalen Hurts. It's like when you first what? when you first get if if, if you're married to I him. Now, if you're going to divorce, I him, didn't think you, you trade say that. You got to trade Jalen Hurts. Say that. It's it's no different. Like, listen, when you meet the one, you got you got to get rid of all your friends. You got to get rid of all your friends. You can't, have, you can't be like, oh, that's just my friend. It don't work like that. No, it's our no, friends. No. Who is this college no, no. sweetheart of yours? Who is this ex of yours that's texting you, that's calling you? Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, you know, Ooh, then, you know nah, we can't have that. Like, Ooh. we're friends. Like, that's, it ain't no, you ain't got no extra life. Like, you got, to, you got right. to, that little black book back in the day or, your, or the people you following on the gram or whatever it is nowadays that the kids doing. I'm, I'm out the game, so I don't really know. But when about I first decided I had to commit, got to cut them off. Got to cut them off. So Jalen Hurts, if you wit, if you gonna be with Carson Wentz, you gotta be with him. You that's can't tough. have this backup. That's, you can't have a viable alternative. You gotta get a scrub backup because that's yeah, what make know, your man. lady. I'm sorry, that's what made Carson Wentz happy. <laughs> you gotta get a scrub backup. Uh, <laughs> I called got, him. We, I called we, him your lady. Lot of you know what I'm today. saying? <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate that's the a million dollars given. worth of game. I'm putting I'm putting people up on game, not the Eagles, wow. but all you want to be married people. You want to be married 15, 13 years? Take it from your boy. Just saying. You know what? I can't do that, though. I can't. I hear what you're saying. I love Carson Wentz. If I'm Philadelphia, I want to work. The, I want to make the uh, marriage work. Yeah, I want to do. I've, I've made some mistakes, and our communication can be better. I cannot trade Jalen Hurts, not because I think Jalen Hurts is going to take your job, but you just mentioned it, Mike. Uh, 2017, they won the Super Bowl. He got hurt. 2018, he got hurt. 2019, he got hurt. I need, I need some protection. I need some protection. So I can't. I didn't say you couldn't have a backup quarterback. No, no, I no. Have a backup I need a good backup quarterback. You can't have a popular. A you can't have a popular backup quarterback. You can't have oh. a quarterback. You can't have a. You can't have one that that WIP and and the Inquirer and the Daily News is like. Okay, when you when you playing him, you can't have one that you're being asked about. Like right now, well, listen, the husband like this. is being asked about this other woman. Like if if I got asked about another woman all the time then my wife is going to feel some kind of way. Hey, thanks for watching Brother From Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.